What is up, YouTube? How is everyone doing today? Oh, shoot. You can see my Osmo on my sunglasses. Look at it. Look right here. Right there. You guys see my Osmo? You can see my eyes within the thing. That's cool. All right. Too much of a distraction. It is Friday. I just got out of work. Um, it's Friday. I love Fridays because it just end of the week. You know, I love coding. I love work. But it's also nice to get a break from that once in a while. You can say two days a week <laughs> uh today what i have planned is uh, i'm gonna go ahead and i'm actually gonna watch power rangers with one of my friends he do not hate i grew up watching it i love it this is what probably gonna be one of the better power ranger movies to ever come out and i look forward to that other than that um i'm just gonna work in code at the end of this video uh hopefully i can i should be able to i'm gonna go ahead and show you the secret and how to get clients as a freelance web developer so yeah enjoy the video the day begins Let's go. Now I'm here at the Korean restaurant. The name of the restaurant is called Changmo Jeep. And I'm gonna meet Midori. She's here. She's parking right there. Do you see her car? She's right there. She's about to park. We're gonna have some dinner. I'm gonna say hi to someone very special. She is the most beautiful person in the world. But look who it is. Midori. Hi. Love kimchi. We finished this bowl, right? We finished this bowl. Now we're getting. <laughs> Not bowl, plate. Now we got this. Kimchi, kimchi. And for you, those of you who do not know what kimchi is, it is pretty much fermented cabbage, meaning cabbage that has been expired and is very old. <laughs> that should be not That's eaten or touched way. at all. No. And that is the kimchi that I love to eat. We're leaving. We're heading out. But let's say bye to Midori. Say bye. Man, I miss already. But alright, let's go! YouTube. Oh, you can't see him. Oh my oh, god. <laughs> there we go. We can see now. Alright, YouTube. So, we're here at the movies. I'm not sure if you can see Drink. Ah, uh, you got no flash. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see him though. But anyway, we're gonna watch Power Rangers. So, I you guess. You have no flash. I'll give you guys a review after. Alright, we're out. Alright, YouTube. So, we just left the movies. We so, saw Power Rangers. <laughs> How was the movie? You probably, probably you're gonna see this in two days. So Rita was a Green Ranger. <laughs> Rita's a Green Ranger, but that's not a spoiler. But it was pretty good. If you haven't seen it, make sure you watch it. But stay till till the end of credits, and you'll see. In between um, the credits. Yes, in between the credits, you're gonna see a really awesome scene. So Tommy, watch it. But not the regional Tommy. Oh my gosh. What's up, YouTube? It is Saturday, and I don't have my gimbal with me, so my phone's gonna shake a little bit, so I apologize for that. I completely forgot to end the vlog last night, so I'm gonna put Friday's vlog and Saturday's vlog together, and man, Power Rangers was amazing. Um, I honestly remember watching the very first episode of the first season television show to come out, which was about more than 20 years ago. I remember sitting on the floor, living in the basement where I used to live, watching that show, and you know I've seen every episode of that the first couple seasons, and I grew up, and it was great. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure to watch Power Rangers. Um, it's amazing. It brought back a lot of memories. But um, right, the day begins. Let's do this. Love you guys. What's up, YouTube? So uh, don't hate me, but it's already been like four hours since I, we actually um, I recorded the last clip of the vlog. Um, and I gotta be honest, um, it was really hard for me to really stick to eating a, a good diet. And the main reason is because I've been eating unhealthy for a long time. And it's taken me a while to get back into it. And I could honestly say officially today, finally, I was able to control myself. And it's actually really easy for me to avoid unhealthy food now where it's not a temptation anymore. It's just, no, I don't want that. It's not good for me. I miss being consistent and eating healthy. Uh, I think it's the best feeling in the world. I feel very happy and satisfied. Um, and I'm counting my calories, my macros, and my goal is that by the end of April to lose 15 pounds. That sounds crazy, but to be honest, that's actually very possible. Uh, what I'm doing right now is that I'm actually here at Best Buy. Check it out. I am. You can't see it because that darn tree's in the way. But I am. See it right there. I'm at Best Buy right there. I just want to go ahead and look at cameras and to be honest my passion before programming was videography I do a lot I used to do a lot of videography for my church I don't do it often anymore so um, I, I, that's why I love doing YouTube I get to do what I love and I get to program and talk about programming while doing what I love which is making videos so yeah but anyway I'm here at Best Buy I'm gonna look at cameras look at what they have see what I can invest in all right let's go to Best Buy <laughs> Alright guys, so I actually didn't let you guys know that um, Midori actually broke my tripod that I had before um, before I had my gimbal, 
which is this. She broke it, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy another one. It's pretty good. I like these because um, I could hang it on my rearview mirror and it's perfect for doing a time lapse while driving. So, all right, YouTube, so I'm leaving Best Buy right now. Um, actually, I didn't, they didn't have any of the cameras that I wanted, so I figured I wouldn't even show it to you anyway. So, I actually did buy a lens. It's actually pretty legit. It's kind of expensive, but I think it's worth the investment. So, I'm gonna show you in a quick second what it looks like. So, I'm here in my car now. And so, what I bought was a Olo Oil Clip or Olo Clip. Pretty cool active lens set. This this can this lens that I, that's made for the iPhone 7. Pretty cool. It has a ultra wide le lens and a telephoto, meaning it's able to zoom up to really far. And I'm gonna try it out. I get to use it for two weeks, and if I don't like it, I can return it to Best Buy. And let's just check out the difference in camera quality. Here you go. This is me. All right, this is me. Let's change it in three, two, one. Boom. All right. What do you guys think about it? What is up? What do you guys think about it? Pretty cool. As you can tell, oh man, now you can see all the, the mess in my back seat. Oh, man. Now I need to have a clean car. Anyway, uh, how, do you, how do you guys like it? It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is it. This is it. This comes up with the lens for seeing far. And I put it on the other side of the camera. Take a look at it right over here. This is it. That's how it pretty much looks like right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on there. But, um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like it a lot. Uh, you can pretty much see everything all around me. It's very clear. Let's check this out. Yeah, like, you could really see everything. I like it. It seems like more movie-like, and um, I think it's something that I would like to use more in the future. Even my friends are wondering, Chris, why are you investing so much money into these lenses and or even just equipment for vlogging? And it's something I love doing. I love giving out the best content. I love really being able to uh you know just share my life with you i mean look i'm sharing my life in purchasing this this is about 120 dollars with you guys i mean and i get to share with you guys i get to share the problems i go through i get to share the successes i have the small victories and everything i learned the hardships and i'm not just doing it on my own but i'm sharing with the whole world from people literally in india in australia and in the philippines in mexico new mexico in florida canada i'm literally sharing with people of all seven continents in this entire world I just love it. I mean, I get to share it, and that's why I love vlogging. And that's why I'm putting this effort. And honestly, man, now that I'm getting used to it. Like, this is nice. Wow, I really like it. Let me know. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this. But it's definitely something I am thankful to invest in. Um, it's worth it for me. So what I want to share with you guys is how can you get clients as a freelance web developer? What can you do? I have no experience. I have no portfolio. How can I start building it? What do I need to do? I'm going to share it with you guys as soon as I arrive at the destination. So let's head out. So the time lapse for this video will begin in three, two, one, and... Don't stop, turn off the lights Nauseous, when I wake up Don't quit, I fell for you Don't break, break it in two Long time, before I knew Us two, we follow through Hold out so I just arrived. I'm here. I hope that very, very short time lapse was pretty cool. I'm gonna explain it here, right here, right now. Now, what is the secret? What can you do to actually get clients as a freelance web developer? This is something that's very important to know because a lot of the people who even watch this channel are not in the United States, do not have access to the amount of clients we're able to reach here in America. So the question then is, how can you do that? Um, and now, uh, this does require me to use a cell phone to show you how to do it, but unfortunately, I don't have my cell phone with me. <laughs> what you need to do to get freelance clients is that you need to use Instagram, okay? I'm gonna show the picture of my homepage right here, boom, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, my, the image of my Instagram, and um, on that Instagram, uh, you know, there's a search button on the top right, you click that, and what you do is that you search. You search for clients. For example, let's say I wanna search for bakeries. Uh, I search the word bakery, and I'll see all those hashtags, and within that hashtag of bakery, there's gonna show X amount of views, which one's most popular, which hashtag is most popular. You click that hashtag, and what it will do is that it will actually show you all uh, the pictures with that hashtag. 
Now, what you need to do is that you need to discern which picture actually belongs to a, a small business. And now, do not aim for the big companies, aim for the very small companies, or, uh, the hole in the wall companies. Look for them, look for the image, and you see them, what you can do is you click on the, that image of, let's say, this client. You click the image of this picture, right? And you check out that that actual company and you click on their home page and you'll see on their website if it's ugly or not and what you could do is that if you think you can do better than their actual website you go ahead and look at it look at the flaws and then you direct message that person you DM them and you send them this message and you'll say hey hey my name is Chris I am actually a professional web developer and I'm actually trying to look for clients that I can help out and I was looking at your website and I saw it was either what it was it's not mobile friendly since 90% uh, of the people or 60 70% of the people online today look at websites through the cell phone I noticed that your actual website isn't mobile friendly it's hard to find and what I'm trying to offer you is for X amount of dollars and if this is your first client go very cheap and say for X amount of dollars what I can do for you is make you a very a cleaner website, more traffic to your websites, which will translate into more transactions and get you more potential customers. And I'm willing to do this for maybe $150. And what you can do is that, yes, maybe that first person you DM will not even respond to you. A lot of times it takes people a long time to respond to DM like I do because I receive so many. And what you can do is that for an hour, two hours a day, if not eight hours a day, if you have free time, just DM people literally all day and you will get clients that way. This is for those people uh, who are desperate, who really need a client, or who just want to get their first client. Uh, if I was in a need, if I was in a situation where I needed to get clients and I w really needed money right away, then I would do this method. I would DM people all day and ask them, hey, would you let me make a new website for you? Let me go ahead and do this. I'll guarantee you, and if you don't like it, then don't worry about it, then don't even use my website. Um, and you know what, if you need any changes, I'll go ahead and make those changes for you uh, for about one or two months, whatever changes you need for free, and after three months, it's just a $10 free for every change you need. And that's all. You just need to do that. And that's how you can get freelance clients. And I did not make up this idea. I actually got it from Gary V. Check him out. If you are not watching Gary Vaynerchuk yet, guys, you guys are missing out. That's what I would do. Um, it's a very great idea. It's very innovative. And there are many ways to get clients like that. You just need to find out and think of how you can do that. All right, guys. Um, dang, this camera is nice. You can literally see like, everything can't you isn't that nice dang that's legit anyways guys i gotta go uh i gotta head out and work on the video study some php uh so thank you for watching this is krishan this is the life of web developer love you all and i'm out i've been pushing away everybody i love i don't know what to do Need a sign from above